So next one, what is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis. What is that? Ah, uh, main point is main point is it is a degenerative disease. It is a degenerative joint disease. DJD. Degenerative joint disease. Otherwise, ortho, osteoarthritis is known as DJD. What is DJD? Degenerative uh, joint disease. Degenerative joint disease. What is it? Uh, what is it? Here, look at here. It is a joint. It is a joint. In joint, what is this? What is this? Two bonds are joining together with the form of with with the help of with the help of with the help of with the help of cartilage is it there is a cartilage layer is it cartilage is attaching with both of things and there is a plate is it there is a plate for uh, uh, avoiding friction is it avoiding friction for the smooth movement unda leda ah that plate that cartilage plate becomes inflamed and degenerated inflamed and degenerated that is called osteo that is simply osteoarthritis artho ayinda leda i got it artho ayinda leda yes so what is osteoarthritis it is otherwise known as degenerative disease, joint disease and how it is characterized characterized by degeneration and loss degeneration and loss articular articular means joint articulation joint movement articular joint intraarthrial in between the joints articulation arthrial means joint intraarticular cartilage cartilage ekkada undayi in between the joint in between the joint there is cartilage for what purpose for the smooth movement for the smooth movement for the smooth movement for avoiding friction for avoiding friction so that cartilage is this degenerated degenerated means destructed destructed destroyed got it got it that is simply that is simply osteoarthritis mainly it is affecting in mainly it is affecting in ah mainly it is affecting in which joints weight bearing joints all the weight bearings are made up of almost synovial joint what do you mean by synovial joint synovial joint means what is the characteristics of synovial joint freely movable is it it freely movable this freely movable joints are mainly mainly where the weight bearing joints are there weight bearing joints means knee joint hip joint ah, ah yes ah, then the vertebral is it vertebral joints then angle angle is it angle joints all these are weight bearing joints and freely movable joints there it is made up of synovial joints is it it synovial joints that is not freely movable that joints are affecting first that joints are affecting first i got it i got it okay rajini osteoarthritis and spondylitis what is spondylitis spondylitis affecting in specially specially the vertebra specially the vertebra vertebral inflammation most commonest site is cervical most commonest service site is cervical but it is affecting in the vertebra spondylitis spine 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 spond spine spondylitis then osteoarthritis osteoarthritis it is affecting in the joints it is affecting the joints mainly at the weight bearing joints so this spondylitis can be a form of osteoarthritis spondylitis can be a form of 
or osteoarthritis got it got it but only thing is there is a difference is the causative organism causative organism okay and the causative factor rheum rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis is it it yeah fine that's the difference okay fine and type of osteoarthritis what are the type of osteoarthritis listen here type of osteoarthritis which are the type of osteoarthritis primary and secondary what is mean by primary osteoarthritis or secondary osteoarthritis what is that ah ah what is that direct direct means here some of the causes are given is it which are the idiopathic or primary that means uh, what is the difference between actually what is the difference in secondary secondary it is not clear for primary there are specific specific cause so what is the difference between primary and secondary idiopathic or primary means ah causes causes are here here they are in primary in primary or idiopathic see listen here aging weight bearing weight bearing joints are most common affected uh, aging or uh, trauma okay aging or trauma or uh, obesity or obesity you can write here write right here obesity do i need to change the color of the pen no okay fine obesity trauma trauma aging um genetic factor smoking genetic factor and smoking all these things they are saying that risk factors all these things they are saying okay so what are these uh these are some of the risk factors okay these are some of the risk factor which is very known which is very known but we can't relate it we, but we can't relate it properly but we are suspecting that these are the risk factors these are the risk factors these are the risk factors so such primary risk factors are there primary risk factors we are known we were very well known risk factors that is called primary that is called primary or idiopathic idiopathic means unknown. unknown idiopathic means unknown we know that these are the some of the risk factors but we don't have any proof we, we, we don't have any proof but most commonly in aging people in smoking people it is happening it is happening but we can't prove it so that is what there is not a non cause there is not a non cause these are some risk factors these are some risk factors we can't say smoking will cause osteoarthritis we can't say aging will cause osteoarthritis if aging is cause osteoarthritis means every aging person should get osteoarthritis avana leda yes artham ayinda leda yes these are some risk factors somebody gets somebody gets osteoarthritis somebody not but these are some risk factors but there is no proper cause artho enda leda so that is what it is known as primary osteoarthritis have you got it artho enda leda have you got it idiopathic or primary idiopathy be not known there is no specific cause but we can say these are some of the risk factors not a cause not a cause okay fine next one is secondary secondary means secondary means we can relate what is that ah uh, there was a cause there was a direct cause to the bone or joint there was an injury there was a trauma is it there was a infection there was an inflammation at the joint area due to that it happened due to that this degeneration of uh, synovial joint or joint uh, cartilage degeneration happened adu kosam itla indi got it ah uh, ah uh, injury kosam or infection kosam itla degeneration aindi direct cause there is a relation got it artho enda leda these are just what primary and secondary have you got it have you got it 
<coughs> okay fine direct injury direct injury okay open injury or fracture is it okay fine next one what are the signs and symptoms what are the signs and symptoms what are the signs and symptoms yeah see see these are the important points important points two type of nodes two type of nodes what are they ah what are they what are they hebbardens node and bouchard's node hebbardens node and bouchard's node write down write down presence of hebbardens node and bouchard's node Hebbardens node and Bouchard's node. Hebbardens node and Bouchard's node. Usually, where we can see is DIP joint. What is DIP joint? See, this is DIP. Okay, this is PIP. Ah. D for distal, distal interphalangeal joint, distal interphalangeal joint node, node formation of node. It's a node. It's a node. Hive or node. Growth, growth or node. Okay. Distal interphalangeal node. That is, that is distal Hebbardian node. And proximal Bouchard's node. Bouchard's node. Proximal interphalangeal node. <clears throat> proximal interphalangeal node. Have you got it? So that is the two important nodes. In which which condition? Osteoarthritis. 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 Got it? Okay, fine. Then most commonest signs and symptoms. We can see most commonest signs and symptoms. Which are the pain. Crepitation. What is crepitation sound? Uh, what is that? Grating sound. If if there is if there is no adequate fluid, if there is no adequate cartilage, what happens to bone? Will pricks together, isn't it? That grating sound. That grating sound. Crepitous sound. What sound? Crepitous sound or grating sound. What is that? Crepitation or grating sound. Grating or crepitous sound. Okay. Have you, have you heard about that? That sound? In any patient? Eh. Sound. Have you heard about in any joint? Sometimes even you can also hear in your joints. Yeah. Isn't it? No, not that tick tick sound. But it is. <coughs> have you heard that? Like that, when they move the, from the joint, there will be sound. That is grating. Grating. Grating means? A grating sound. A rub, not a rubbing. Uh, in chopping, chopping in the kitchen, you will do vegetables. You will chop it. That sound. Cru, 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 cru. Isn't it? Uh, same. That sound. That is grating sound. Okay. And most commonly, we know that where it happens, weight bearing joints. Okay. And Another point, enlargement of joints or we can say presence of nodes. Which type of nodes? A burden node and Bouchard's node. Have you got it? Okay, fine. Got it? Got it? Okay. So, there is there is a burden node, Bouchard's node and what happens with this Bouchard's node, a burden node and swelling. And swelling, what happens? There will be crepitus. There will be Crepitus. Crepitus is there. Swelling is there. Bouchard's node is there. And a Hebbard node is there. So what happens to range of motion exercise? Limited. Limited range of motion exercise. Have you got it? Difficulty in uh, getting up after prolonged sitting. Isn't it? Prolonged sitting. After that, oh, help me, help me, please, help me, please, help me. I can't. 
oh my god is it they will feel very difficulty for standing up is it yeah old age people knee joint especially is it knee joint happens okay and in that knee joint we can uh, see we can uh, sorry we can hear sound on auscultation we can hear sound is it okay fine